everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. If you are new, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, all of the links to everything to do with anything will always be in the description box below. And you can also contribute to my crafty channel via by me, uh, coffee.com if you so desire. The link's in the description box. So what I'm doing today is I'm working on my um, design team project for a whimsical adventure. And uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so I've put my pages together. What we're going to do today is I'm just going to make some quick clusters. But what I just want to quickly do before we do that is just show you what I've done to, to press. So I've printed out all of the lovely um, images that I like, pages, double-sided them on some thick um, presentation paper and I've ripped all the edges. I really like that rather than straight edges. Um, yeah, it's pretty. I've, I've decided to like that. Um, so we've got about 11 pages there so far. Now they are all digitals. The journal part or the writing part of this journal, there's going to be several sections to this project, is quite heavily reliant upon the digital images. I've not made a lot of my own background papers or anything like that, but they're so beautiful, I just wanted to show them off. And there is a reason for it, and the story will unfold um, when I've completed, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I'm just going to add a few more in there, and then that will be, that will be it. It will be more about what goes in it than the actual pages because they're so beautiful you don't need to do anything and um, so because I'm not doing my own papers or own backgrounds there won't be much stenciling or a jelly plate making or anything I'm concentrating on making my own ephemera out of things from the kit but yeah so what I've done is this is a book cover and I've shrunk it down. I've finally learned how to resize things. I'm very slowly teaching myself um, how to uh, do things digitally Starting with the basics, like resizing, um, <clears throat> and I'm like, ooh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> it's brilliant. So I um, turn these into little booklets. The uh, you know the images front and back. We've just some little paper in, and they are sewn like you'd sew a journal. Okay, and I've done two of those, so they are going to get tucked inside. I've made some, I've shrunk, this is an actual page and I was seeing how far I could shrink things down, um, you know, whether it would distort the images and it doesn't, not at all. So I've shrunk those down, um, this is actually a full page that I've shrunk down really small and, they, they, and then I've used the tabs, I've stamped, I've used some of uh, the inside of the, you know the print that's meant to be the inside of the book cover have you I've printed extra of those and turned them into little file folders okay so we've got three of those that I can put things in and slide wherever and then this is a little printable I found this little word that says seedling and I thought oh I'll make it into a packet of seeds okay and um, this is from the kit this is like a little letter I've shrunk it down it prints out A4 and I've just shrunk it down and stapled on this little ticket. Um, so it's like a, um, a museum advertisement. So this is a little ticket to show that the person's been. And then some more letters and things that I've shrunk down. These are about um, plants and buying bulbs and roses and things like that. So these will all be going in as well. All right. And then I found a little scrap, uh, a little paper pad. Um, that I'd bought from the works and it's like cardstock, it's brilliant. So I found a really cute page and I cut that down to make these little, just little basic tags for writing on. Um, I don't know if I'll decorate them or not yet. This is from the kit, this is like a little coin envelope, beautiful. And then throughout the kit there's these little embellishments, like little circles and they're meant to be, I mean that's like a little resin piece I think that she's uh, scanned in. And there's quite a lot scattered about, so what I did was I've punched them all out with a three, is it three quarter inch? You know the smallest you can get, half inch um, is the smallest I've got, which is very, very small. Half inch circle punch, punched them all out, put them on a foam, I've got some foam circles, and then this is an embossing folder, and I've turned it into vintage buttons. So that will be getting slipped inside, um, like sh the person's just got some... But being about some buttons so that's where I'm up to so what I want to do with you now is just really quickly make some clusters 
And these are going to be really easy because I'm using, again, digital items from the kit. You get loads. I'll leave the link in the description box below to the kit. And then when I finish this journal, I'll do a massive flip through. So you get loads of little, like, butterflies and roses and tickets and labels there's loads really is and you know I always print well I tend to print my favorite pages out twice so I've got quite a lot and I don't mind fussy cutting don't mind fussy cutting at all and um, if you've got a, a you know a scan and cut you can use that so I'm using these and then as part of the kit she scanned these which are just bits of paper um, that she's you know scanned in for, for interest so this is like uh, just like note paper with um, punched sides and she's laid them up and creased them and then scanned it in and it's just that big and and I thought they're gonna make fantastic clusters but it's sparked my imagination next time I'll just get my own paper and do it but I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna use that I might only make two actually so we've already got us papers let's just move I have a piece of paper there to stop the glare so let's get on with the clusters so I think so I've cut them out and then I just ripped top and bottom to make it look a bit more authentic um, and we're going to make some clusters so let's have a look um, do the this one first where this is a nice piece I've got some pieces in here and then some pieces to the side I'm just going to rough that up a bit more let's have a look what else have we got it's this one quite like that and then, let's have a look. I've got a yellow flower. That looks nice. Yeah, I like that. It doesn't have to, you don't have to overthink it. So I'm just going to oh, turn that lid a mile away. So this is a little sign for uh, gardening. Everything for the garden. Peter Henderson and Co. New York. <laughs> right, so that's that one. And then this is a little rose a little digital rose we've already got pink there so that's why i've picked yellow okay we've got our scrappy paper behind i just want a bit of lace i think let's have a look let's have a look i've picked out some different laces because i'm not sure which is going to look the nicest oh i've dropped my rose so i'm just going to lay them lay them on and then have a think what i like quite like that actually. Let's have a look. Just a bit of lace hanging down. I don't know, it's got ink on it from somewhere, but I'm not worried about that. Or do I want the wider one? I don't know, I can't decide. Let me just cut a strip of this. And then we'll decide. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to overface the thing with too much stuff. And then these will glue into or staple or whatever sewing. I don't think I'll be sewing in this journal. Um, I get where if I sew one thing I've got to sew everything and then it takes me ages. I, I have huge uh, admiration for people that can make journals in, in a day or so. I don't know how to do it because it takes me ages. Right. I think I like that one instead. It's a bit more scrappy, isn't it? Yeah, right, so what I'll do is I will... I'm back on print stick because I couldn't find any Yoohoo and I really don't like it, but... Hey-ho! So I'll glue them on there and then I probably will just run over this with my sewing machine, but I'm not sewing any of pages. I can't, I can't be bothered. It takes ages. <laughs> uh, if it was a journal for myself and time was not an issue, then, you know, or whatever have you. But this is a design team project. I do, well, I don't really have a deadline. She's dead nice, but I said I'd be done by the end of the month. So I try and keep my word. I try. I do try. Although, you know, the, the design team, people that I design for are all amazing. I don't think it would matter if you was 
terribly late. They're all really understanding and really lovely. I've not been late yet, <laughs> which is not like me. <laughs> I've, always, I've been on time with all of them. Uh, there we go. Right, so all I've got to do now is give that a sew. I don't feel the need to put a sentiment or anything on um, because it's not that kind of a journal, which will, as I say, it will unfold itself. There's a bit of a star. I, I make stories for my journals, me. <laughs> They've got to have a star to keep me focused on the theme, otherwise they just end up a bit boring and a bit flat, you know. Um, and I like to have a star. So there's one. So I'm going to do another. So let's, we've decided this, oh, I don't know, should we have a, should we have a dialer? No, it's too dark. We'll keep it with the nice light colour. I don't want it to be really dark, this journal. I want it to be quite light and um, feminine and pretty. Just cutting that. I don't know what I'm going to do when this piece runs out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Because <laughs> it's my favourite. I'm going to have to go hunting. When I go to charity shops and stuff, and my focus at the moment is hunting for books, for great images and stuff. I mean, I know you can get some really cool deals on uh, World of Books on eBay and stuff, but the condition of them can sometimes be a bit rubbish so you know I'm focusing looking on books I need to start looking for fabrics because <laughs> I'm running short right so what am I gonna what else do I want let's have a look I want that butterfly I want that butterfly I think what else have I got oh, I like that I love that and then I've got some more tickets here and this, which I'd set to one side because I knew I wanted to use. So I just need to ink this up. I just had a hor horrible feeling then that I wasn't in shot. It's like that feeling when you, you know, when you think you've lost your phone. <laughs> Oh, first world problems. Oh dear. Right. So, I want that. I think I want it running the full length and I quite like this. Quite like this. I'll give it a bit of an ink because it's a little bit on the white side. But there's, there's quite a bit of white in this journal. I think I just want to stamp the end of that. Probably just more for the sake of it, really. I don't really need it, but let me just... <sighs> yeah, I like that one there. Let's have a look how big it is. I like that. What else? Oh, five, seven, one, three. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one there. I used that on the file folders as well. Yeah, I love that one. I really need a better way to store these. Mm, right, so I want a block. And I'm using basic grey. Sometimes I find just black on its own a little harsh. So I need to get an archival in the in a in a like a dark grey because this is just water based and it's not really the best but I hope my hair don't get in shot because it needs dyeing and I can't remember if I brushed it today. There we go. <laughs> I think I have. I think I brushed it when I got up but I can't remember. I will have done because I am dressed today. That's a bonus for me because I like to craft in my gym jams. And then, you know, if I get a... Uh, I'll craft in my craft gym jams where if I get ink or glue on them it doesn't matter. And that's uh, nice and comfy for me. But I'm dressed today. <laughs> just ink these. Just cover up them white edges where I've cut it out. And if you've not, you know, cut it exactly right, then the Distress Ink will cover a, a multitude of sins. Beautiful. I love decorating journals. It really does give me a lot of joy at the moment. I don't know... I just love it. I just don't ever get bored of it. I'm like, right, next journal, what we're doing now? And I just love it. 
I don't, I've not had a day yet where I think, oh, I'm not in the mood. I haven't. Love it. Right, I'm going to have that peeking off, the, off of the end. Put it central. Just give it a press. Uh, as I say, I will probably, um, I might add some stitching, although I don't think it needs it. I'm not really wanting to stitch this anything in this journal because I want I like to keep it consistent. So if I stitch one thing, I'll, I'll have to start stitching everything. And I don't think you have to do it in every journal, do you really? Um, I'll put that on there like that. So these little ripped pages are like a base. They're brilliant, but I mean you can use your own ripped pages, can't you? But they were in the kit, so. I'm using them and I love it when I get kits from people and things that they've put in it really inspire me and I think oh that's a brilliant idea you know and it, and it encourages you you see so you're not only buying images you you building your crafter encyclopedia as it were right where am I putting this now I'm not quite sure I'll put it there and then the butterfly can go up there, I think. Yeah. I don't, I, it makes your hands really sticky, this stuff. It's horrible. Yeah. Put him on there. I could do with going a bit. Put him further up. No, he's all right there. I'll leave him there. And then uh, that way you can see everything that's been layered on there. I like that. So there you go, a bit of waffle and a couple of little clusters. So all I'll do now is, um, let me think. Yeah, I'll probably um, glue those to pages so that they're then a tuck spot. That's how I'm going to use those clusters. Since they're quite large, um, so they're not the type of cluster to put on a pocket or a, a tag. These are, um, you know, tuck clusters for the side of your journal pages so I hope you like those thanks for watching um, as I say everything's in the description box below and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now